or lift, living in faithful truth. John 8 and 32 says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Power to lift you up, power to set you free. We need a powered lift, the truth will set you free. Living in faithful truth, receive the word you need. Power of the gospel ministries, preach the word indeed. We here to help each other, witness the truth and protect each other. So we set aside ourselves so we can reach each other. So let your worship cry, let your praise out. Now let the truth offend you, release that holy shout. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's going on? Hey, 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 hey. hey. Lady K, Lady K, what's going on with you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm excited. It's Thursday. It's Powerless Day. How you doing? Man, I am good. I am good. I am just blessed. I'm just enjoying life. You know, my, my wife, uh, for those that's listening, for those that's coming to my wife, just throw down in the kitchen, just throw down. I ain't going to tell you what it is. I might make y'all jealous. But if I, I hope I don't go to sleep doing this interview because the food was so good. You know, that's one thing about my wife. She ain't just beautiful and smart and an author and all this stuff. She is a housewife and a mama. She takes care of that very well. <laughs> okay. But, but Lady K, but, but Lady K this, ain't, this ain't about you tonight, okay? This ain't about you tonight, okay? <laughs> I just thought I'd just throw that in there. You know what I'm saying? I just thought I'd throw that in there. Thank, Absolutely. Thank you so much. Absolutely. <laughs> but yes, I'm excited about tonight. I, I mean, I, I heard about our guests, um, um, the bio, and I mean, um, um, I'm looking up stuff and looking at things, and I, this is going to be interesting tonight. Interesting tonight. But I am ready for that for, for our guests. And um, um, Lady K, I just want to ask you something though. I don't. I, y'all can't be taking over the show now because I hear that's that's a buddy of yours, right? Y'all, yeah, y'all yeah. Yeah, don't, don't, don't be taking over the show and just kind of push me to the side now. Okay? <laughs> I, look, I'll let you ask the first question. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I can't promise said, nothing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wait, with that being said, let me, let me start off with a word of prayer, okay? Heavenly Father, we come in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for this night. We thank you, Father God, for the blessings, for all that you have given us, Father God, on just this day alone, Father God. You have already given us too much, Father God. You woke us up sound clothes in our right mind, Father God, and started us on our way, Father God. And now we reach or uh, coming to the evening time, to the afternoon, to the end of our day, Father God. You're still blessing us, Father God. And Father God, we thank you for the show. We thank you for Positive Power 21 Radio. We thank you for Jerry Roy. We thank you for the Positive Power 21 family, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. We thank you for our guests. On tonight, Father God, we thank you for the listening audience that will come in now live and will also listen to the replay, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father God, have your way right now, Father God. Bless us, Father God. Bless my wife. Bless myself, Father God, as we present or we, 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 we ask questions and we something will be brought out tonight that will be a blessing to someone, somewhere, somehow, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we do pray. We say amen, amen, and... Amen again. Hello, welcome to Power Lift, everyone. We have an amazing guest on tonight. I'll be introducing soon, but I want to give you a few announcements. If you want to know a little bit more about Reverend Red and Lady Crystal, please go to powerofthegospel.org. You can find out a little bit more about the Reverend and the First Lady. Um, again, powerofthegospel.org. We also are excited about my up and coming birthday book signing bash that's on October 29th. And it will be in Plano, Texas. So if you're interested in coming to the book signing, purchasing Made to Leave Millions, my new book release, please go to crystalhenry.net, crystalhenry.net, and connect with us, connect with me. On another note, how many of y'all out there love TikTok? Well, we do too. Follow us, like our amazing, funny videos. It sets the mood for the love atmosphere and so much more. It'll have you laughing. Connect with at Team Sexy with three X's because we're extra funny 
<laughs> and we're just plain extra. So join us on TikTok at Team Sexy. Sunday mornings, we go live for service at 1030 and 1130. And then check out our videos, like, comment, and share on TikTok at Team Sexy. On, um, if you are on Clubhouse, I shout out to y'all. Every Tuesday at 6 p.m., join myself, Coach Crystal Henry, and Coach Angel Riley for amazing discussions that will help you in life, love, and leadership. So join us Tuesdays in the Clubhouse. Our club room is called The Success Tank. And you can connect with us by going to the thesuccesstank.club. Again, the thesuccesstank.club. Join us on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So those are our announcements. I'm excited to um, read our bio of our amazing guest. We have to give her plenty of time because she is multifaceted, multi-talented, and amazing. Our next guest that we are bringing to this amazing platform <clears throat> has started out with small and humble beginnings. And um, she spent her life growing up in different places such as Long Branch, New Jersey, Los Angeles, California, New York City, New York, Panama Canal, overseas, but she calls Tennessee her home. She um, has just an amazing, phenomenal use of her mind and her soul and her spirit. She ha is an accomplished author of two published books, Take the Popcorn Out of Your Pancakes, um, a book that empowers women to transition from corporate America to become a profitable entrepreneur and mother at home. And... <clears throat> The, the Eulogy, a book that teaches practical tips on how you can love yourself unconditionally conditionally, and how you can cultivate and grow healthy relationships. So I'm excited because she also is the founder of Bella Body. And so we're going to let her tell more about that um, as we get to know the amazing mother of twin girls and one son, none other than the amazing Lanisa Williams. Welcome, welcome to Power Thank Live. You. Thank you. Thank you. Lanisa, Lanisa, what is going on? Hi, how you doing? I am you doing amazing. Okay? I'm doing great. Okay. Thank you for, I'm glad to be here. No problem, no problem. It's our honor to have you and a pleasure to um, to meet you, you know, I've, I've heard my wife talk to you and seeing you and all that working together. And I just want to let you know right now, Lanisha, I know that's your girl over there, right? Lady K, right? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you the tough question, right? right? I'm going to start with a tough question. What's the square root of 3,359? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love the question. I love the question. <laughs> no, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, but seriously. Denise, we like to, you know, uh, if you have ever listened to our show and if you listen to my part when I do my questions, I always like to go back because people can look at you. They see you on the, on the cover. They see how beautiful you are right now. They see everything successful that you're doing right now, right? But, you know, everybody want to go back to the beginning. It didn't start out like that. You know, they want to know the, the, um, the childhood. How, what did you have to overcome? What happened? So as a young child, just kind of real, very quickly in your childhood, did you, would, did you grow up as a... As a as a church little girl in church or would you didn't grow up in church or what would your childhood like basically that's what we want to ask well, to know right now well that is a great place to start because i will tell you that is truly the foundation that put me on the trajectory of my life i grew up my mother um divorced my father at uh, when i was two years old and so we moved from new jersey to California to live with friends, and then she met my stepfather, so I became a military child. So I okay. lived okay. all over. So I'm one of these people that says I have my bag packed and I'm ready to go. Right, so right. When, I, when, right. I, when I think about my childhood, I do have wonderful memories. However, <laughs> um, at the age of five, I was unfortunately purposely burned 
by my stepfather's Ooh. 19-year-old nephew with a hot biblical grief. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm sorry to hear that. Wow. Okay. Now, how old were you yeah. at five? You said age of five. I was five. I was five, and he was wow. 19 years old. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, but you know, you got, but you overcame that, you know, because you know, but I always say you, you overcome things, but God has purpose in your life. Go ahead, go ahead. Absolutely, absolutely. I would not change my story if God came back and said, Lenisa, you can't. I wouldn't, because yes, there were trials and there were bruises and there were emotional and physical um, issues that set up within me, within my body for multiple multiples of years but i tell you working through those trials and tribulations has made me the woman that i am today so i stand firm and i love the body and the person that i am so i wouldn't change anything about my past amen amen you know that's all that's 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 the way to start off the show that's a very you know anybody (laughs) that's listening right now is probably going oh I want to hear more about this then. If she, that's how she started. <laughs> because they want to know how you got to where you are. Now, one more question later, can I pass you over, okay? Um, so when you were, like, in, say, like, high school, did you have an idea where you wanted to go in life? Did you say, I want to be a model, I want to be a singer, I want to be a writer? Did you have any clue or did you have a call that someone seen in your life and said, hey, Lanisha, I think you want to be a... Uh, God is showing me you're going to be, what was that like in high school or, you know, six, around the 15, 16, 17 year old age? That is an awesome, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm doing a row of decks in my head. And okay. really, I want to tell you, my high school years was not years of me knowing what I wanted to do. It was okay. really me, okay. years of me trying to feel worthy and validated. Okay. So I okay. spent those years not knowing who I was. So when you don't know who you are, you're kind of yeah. just out there. You're just out right. there. And that's what I was. I was, if you saw me on paper, I was the student body president of my high school, okay. which was predominantly white. I was the okay. uh, captain of the cheerleading squad. I, I was okay. doing the things during my high school years, but I was one depressed person while I was Oh, doing wow. It. See? Because it These was all more wow. for show. It was more right. for show than for Lanisa because I was stuck. I was stuck in a body and a mindset that I didn't feel like I was worthy or loved because of the scars that had happened to me throughout my life. Wow. And so I was just trying to be seen. I just needed people to love me. So that was right. really what right. my, my mission was, <clears throat> just to be loved. Wow. Wow, Lenisa, you don't know, you done already, the first five, ten minutes of this show, you done already helped somebody right now. I know you have. You done already helped somebody. Thank you so much for being open like that and sharing that with us. Go ahead, Lady K. So <clears throat> how did you um, how did you find your husband and get married is my question. How did Whoa. y'all meet? Coach K, you getting deep. <laughs> Way in there. Can we not get to know each other? (laughs) Y'all want me to truly be. Okay, so I attend a church. um, I I don't know if you know uh, Michael Todd of Transformation Church in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And one of the things that we talk about is being hot, being humble, open, and transparent. And so I guess you guys know. But that's what I live on. So let's talk about that. Um, what I will give you is when you are not in a place of knowing who you are as a person, you sometimes, and I don't want to say sometimes, you get out of your lane. And what I mean by mm-hmm. that, you become, when women and men get together, there is a lane. There's a pursuer and there's a pursuee. Well, Lady Crystal, I because I didn't know who I was, I was the pursuee. So that's how I met my husband. Oh. I was determined. <laughs> Go ahead, then. I Go was ahead, determined then. to make mm-hmm. things happen instead of allowing yeah. them to happen. Okay. And okay. when you get out of order and you do the things wrong, things wrong, things don't come out right. 
And I always tell people, individuals will ask me about marriage. I love everything about um, marriage. I was married to my husband for 14 years, and I would do it all over again with the, you know, the right person. And I'm not saying that he wasn't the right person. I wasn't the right person. Okay. When you have the wrong motives when you do anything, two things are going to mm-hmm. happen. They're either you're going to sacrifice or you're going to be stuck. And it's not going to work. It's going to end. And that's exactly right, what right, happened right. with my marriage. Um, beautiful family. Love my ex to this day. We're best friends. But Lady Crystal, I got out of lane. I got out of the lane. And I became the pursuer. And when you get out of the lane, you take that on into your marriage. So there okay, were times, okay. and hence my first book, That's Why I Take the Popcorn Out of Your Pancakes, was written. Because God had to show me. Lanisa, um, there's a place for you, and your place is not being treating your husband like his, your son. Your place is treating your husband just as he is, like your husband, and you need to know how to do that. So, yes. That's Great very question. powerful. Yeah, yes, that's that is. very, very powerful. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow, okay. And so when Damn. you... When when you said what you said, you know, a lot of times we as women, especially women uh, in in control positions at in, at work and uh, businesses, you know, being business owners and you know, as aggressive as we as women can be, um, we do bring that into our relationships. And so, uh, a man wants to be a man. A man wants to lead. And like you said, when we get out of line, um, the way we went in the marriage, now you've got to carry everything. Now, you know, you, the way you present it, it's like, okay, I, I'm going to carry this load, this extra weight that we're not supposed to be carrying as women. And so I think that was very powerful what you said um, to, to touch the hearts and the minds of our uh, female listeners. Um, my next question for you is, um, when you wrote Take the Popcorn <laughs> Out of the Pancakes and you say you it was an evolution time. It was, you know, when you really, you know, wrote this book, explain to us, was it healing for you? Was it healing going through the process of writing the book? Yes. Mm-hmm. Very much so in, in, in the respect that, so let me just kind of digress. Okay. I grew up in a powerful um, family. All yes. the women on my side of family are all PhD educators. And yes. all the men on my side of the family were all pastors. So I oh, lived yes. in the church, okay? Mm-hmm. And then I was educated at home. And we mm-hmm. were taught, as if you were at home and you were a black woman, you gonna be powerful. You didn't have a right. choice, but to right. be powerful. Yes, and um, that's a great thing. That's a it great is. thing as mm-hmm. um, as women. However, there is a balance to it all. Yes, and when I became married, I was emulating a lot of the things that I saw in my own home. Yes, um, being raised. Yes. And it was not, <laughs> I saw six months in that this was not going to work. If I was going to remain married, I was going to have to take another path. Mm-hmm. So, yes, I dug deep into the Proverbs 31 woman and what mm-hmm. that looked like. See, I thought my validation came in my titles, my mm-hmm. uh, my business, mm-hmm. the money that I was making. Because, girl, I was in, I was in my mid-20s, and I was already making six figures. Okay. So I was the who's who mm-hmm. of Nashville, Tennessee, back in the early um, 1990s. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's not the best thing to, to, to try to toot your horn about when you're getting married. And I took all that boss woman, chip, mm-hmm. whatever you want to call, to right. all that home. And mm. I had a wonderful husband, but, you know, as you said, eventually... You get tired. You can't right. carry it at all. Right. And that's when God sent me to the word. And mm-hmm. that's when I realized that, Lanisa, 
you don't need a title. Your first title is being a wife. Wife. Your second yes. title is being a mother. Mother. Be great yes. at that first. Mm-hmm. And hence, take the popcorn out your pancake. That's mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's wow. really good. Go ahead, Reverend Red. That answered my question there because you know, there's something about titles that I like that, that catches people's attention. And trust me, popcorn, when I seen that first, I was like, okay, what is this? I ain't well, never had popcorn know, with pancakes. <laughs> and I don't, so let me kind of explain how that came up. Um, okay. You know, I was, I was raised, and I love, as, as I just told you, I was raised to uh, be a, a powerhouse when it came to education and being a working woman. And you just go out there and you do it. But when it came to the household um, chores and being the feminine and all that, I didn't know that. We didn't, I wasn't raised on that. And so gotcha. when I got married, uh, my husband was looking for meals and was looking for the nurturing and all of that. And I'm like looking at him like, dude, you better figure out how to make your meals yourself. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to figure out how to get a nanny because I can't take care of all this and do my work. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and, okay. Um, his, because of that, that really set our, our marriage up, not in the best position to, um, from the start. And the story opens up, the book opens up with the story of a young lady that has finally gotten married, but she comes from a family of women that worked hard out in the marketplace, but her husband came from a family that had the traditional values. His mother stayed home. And so once they got married, um, the husband was always asking, why don't you cook me breakfast? And she was like, I don't know how to cook it. He's like, well, I don't want you Mm. giving this task out to everyone. Breakfast was one of the most beneficial times when I was growing up because that was family time. We all sat around the table. We prayed together. We ate together. Then we went on our day. So, of course, his wife wants to, you know, fulfill his wishes. So one morning she wakes up and she makes pancakes. And the husband sits down and he's happy about it. But they're burnt. They're burnt to a crisp. And he finally just looks at his wife and he says, I'm happy <laughs> that you did what I asked you to do. But why are the pancakes burnt? And, she, and you know, in and, and all fairness, as I would have said back in the day, I'm not standing over no hot stove with no pancakes. I just poured the batter in. <laughs> and so the, the husband just finally tells the wife, you, 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 something's got to change. Well, that night the wife pondered and just said, Lord, what can I do? And she thought real quickly, she says, what if I put popcorn in my pancake? They will pop themselves. <laughs> they will flip themselves. So she gets up the next morning, popcorn in her pancake, and you know what? The popcorn, come, the pancakes come out beautiful. They come out beautiful. They flip. Husband sits down. He takes a bite, and he's like, okay, enough is enough is enough. Well, that night, for the first time, Sarah gets on her knees and cries and says, Lord, please teach me how to be a wife. And God tells her, Sarah, get up off your knees. I'm going to teach you how to take the popcorn out of your pancake. I'm going to teach you how to become a Proverbs 31 woman and be the woman that I've called you to be. Wow, that that is wow, <laughs> that is that is awesome. Now, I, will, I I pray our listening audience is listening to this because that is absolutely an awesome explanation of a title. That's the best one, Lady K. That's the best one I've heard. That is the <laughs> best one. Absolutely, I've heard. Man, that is that is that is amazing. Now let me ask you this now: at um at at, at what point? In your life, did you feel like that um, you wanted to be a writer? You know, like I was asking you through high school and through all that you didn't know. But at what point did you say, you know what, yes, God has given me this. This is going to help someone, you know, um, and I want to put this on paper. You know, because Chris will talk to me about, you know, writing and people are talking about writing. I said, I I just don't, you know, writing is a gift. I mean, be able to be an author put something down on paper to be patient. I see my my wife work with her book and the time that it takes is time consuming. And I'm like, no, nah, I just tell it. If you want to hear my story, I just tell you. 
but to put it in the book, at what point in your life did you say, you know what? Yes, I, I feel I feel a book. I feel that I can write this down and I feel like that can that can come together and put it. I mean what two questions. At what point did that happen and what um influenced you to do it? Okay. Okay. What point did that happen? Well, I will have to, uh, and here, here I am being very transparent again, to really okay. say that I felt that I wanted to be an author per se out there and put my uh-huh. life out, on the, out, out there. I did not embrace that until about two and a half years ago to three years, hence the birth of my last book, Over 40 Stuck in a Fat Body. Um, the, the, the prior books that are out right now, which are the, um, which are take the popcorn out of your pancakes and the mm-hmm, eulogy mm-hmm. were actually journals that I had, I had did for myself and see what you have to remember. Remember, I am still that fi- I was still that five year old girl who no one ever addressed why someone poured hot grease on my body. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay? And even though, yes, the physical scars were healing, no one addressed the emotional scars. So right, my right, 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 right. was always writing, not for people to see, but for me, the little voice right. inside, for at least right. somebody would hear me and listen to me. But I will tell you, it wasn't until I became whole four years ago and took myself on a journey of saying, Lenisa, no more. After the death of my mother in 2012 at 56 years young, I realized that something had to change. And I knew that, yes, I do the weight loss programs and I help people. I've got some great programs out there with the Bella body and everything. But, Lanisa, you're still hurting. You still need to mm-hmm. be whole. And mm-hmm. when I allowed myself to go through some therapy, and I, and I am proud to, that I went through therapy, and really start working on the little girl inside, now I, at three year, two years ago, when this book was birthed in my body, over 40 stuck in a fat body, when I tell you, I couldn't relate, wait to release this book this year. I could not <laughs> wait to release it because I knew that I am whole now. See, at first I was feeling, are you being an imposter, Lenisa? You know, with that a whole imposter syndrome that's going on. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know, yes, people are getting blessed through your message, but they also don't see you coming home crying because you feel lonely, because you don't have a man in your life, or you don't feel like you're making enough money, or you don't feel like you've achieved the level of success that you should achieve. It wasn't until I finally was able to feel that wound to God transforming Mm -hmm. me from the inside out that I was able to really sit down and write a book that within the first week went to a number one bestseller. So if I would give anyone advice, Make sure you know who you are when you sit down and write a book. Right. Make sure right. that you are comfortable <clears throat> in your skin. Don't worry about what everybody mm-hmm. else is saying. Know who you are and translate that on paper. Don't, I, I always say this, facts tell, but stories sell. What are some stories yep. that you know wow. God has allowed you to go through and come through and share those stories? See, it's the Stories that fail. Wow. Yes, do the facts. I can be factual all day about what obesity is doing to America and why we need to eliminate weight. Mm-hmm. But if I told mm-hmm. you the story of my mom who had her PhD in education, who had her um, real estate license, who had her construction license, who owned her own construction company, who had a restaurant and did a little Amway on the side, y'all, that's that and that but let me tell you that story does not end well because my mom was very proactive when it came to her health 
a very uh -huh. proactive when it came to her career, but very reactive when it came to her health. Health, okay. That's a story gotcha. that failed. Yes. That's a story that people, when they look in the book, <laughs> that they can identify with and say, you know what? Yes, I'm making all this money, but to have all this money and not mm, to yeah. be here, to be able to utilize it and be able to bless people with it, what's, what's the value yep. on it? What's the value? So hopefully that will help someone. Wow. Yeah. Anissa, I'm telling you, I, it just has to me. I'm trying to figure out, can I get a bell of, a bell of body? <laughs> what I got to do? <laughs> you can, you can. And you know, I, I, I love that. And, and like Crystal, she, she knows that that's the value. Yeah. That's my heart right now. Um, right, my, right. You know, I have two, I have two programs that are self-paced. But yeah, I've got a great announcement that we'll talk about later. But okay. a program yeah, we'll that, that is really we'll engaging. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah. I would love to help you, Pastor. Would love yeah, to. that ain't no problem. No problem. But before I, start, I pass you over to Chris, I just want to let you know, Anissa, we want to give you the opportunity, like you just said, to share all your social media, your website, all that you're doing, how to get in touch with you, what you just said about the Bella body. You're going to have that opportunity. You get about two or three minutes, you just have that time to do that, okay? So with that being said, I'm going back over to Lady K. Go ahead, Lady K. Okay. So my next question is, releasing the B within you? Come on, creator. Tell me about that. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. So the name of my overall ministry is called The B Within. The B-E-E -E Within. And I'm going to tell you, when I was spoken for that lady crystal coach crystal mm -hmm. i was like lord why would you even give me the a b to even put in the what what are you talking about i don't even like bees bees <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. but when i sat down and that's what god says always says get an understanding get knowledge get some wisdom why did you send me this way i started researching and what I found is that in 1930, there was a, um, a scientist that basically said, came out and said, bees should not be able to fly. And they can't fly because their, their bodies are too fat and their wings are too small. And so there's no way you need to think about it. They really shouldn't be able to fly. But that's what if the bee believed the label that was put on him? What if he believed yeah. that? Where would this world be? Because when you understand mm. what bees do to pollinate mm -hmm. and get the, the world, to be come in, on, it wouldn't be the same world. But when you understand that there is a bee within you, mm. you are going to be able to move and walk in this world like no other person could ever imagine. So I am helping individuals release the bee from within. Walk in the true mm -hmm. essence of what God has called you to be. Don't allow that lie. The bee didn't believe the lie, so why are you believing the lie? Let's get rid of Amen. the false labels. And so when I teach Amen. individuals on how to release the bee with that, it helps them in their relationship. It helps them in their finances. It helps them in their careers. And it helps them spiritually. Because when you align with the true essence of what you were called to be, there's nothing you can have or you mm. can't be. Mm. Mm. Love it. Absolutely wow. amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Mind, body, and soul transform. Yeah. You, that is your specialty. That's what you do. Now, um, one more question, and then that way I'll make sure that you have enough time. So, um, now feel free to keep them coming. Keep them coming. <laughs> so, the the Bella body, the be within. Um, how did you get to the point of writing your um, the book that you just wrote? <sighs> Over forty. <laughs> Over mm -hmm. 40 Stuck in yes. a Fat Body. Yes. Listen, over 40 Stuck in a Fat Body was truly a book that was birthed because of the death of my mom. 
Um, the Bella Body program came from that. As you all, as I told this story, my mom was very proactive when it came to her career life, but very reactive when it came to her health. And I was one of those people, uh, Lady Crystal. I was yo-yoing dieting when I saw what was going on. I was like, okay, let me just go, jump on this diet, and I'll do over here, and I'll jump over here. And, do, and because I was an athlete, I knew how to work out. So I would go and spend three and four hours in the gym. And did it work? It did. Um, the grapefruit diet, the lemonade diet, come on, give me some more. The Atkins diet, the keto diet. I done done them all. Right, them right. All. And they worked. But I will tell you, six months to a year later, the weight was back on. The weight was back on. And I remember, especially after my mom passing, Lord, what do I do? How, what's going to happen here? And all I could hear him saying was, Juanita, quit using earthly tools to deal with a spiritual problem. See, yes, mm. it is about the food. Yes, it is about the exercise. But the most important part is your mindset. Is your mindset. So hence birth the Bella Body Program, which is a nine-week program that dissects the fruits of the Spirit from Galatians 5, 22 to 23. It goes over nine weeks of total mind-shifting, mind-setting, to where your mind goes, your body, and your life can't help but to follow. So during those nine weeks, we look at being beautiful, eliminating pain. See, people don't even understand that a lot of times that you're eating, you're eating just out of pain. So how yes. do we uproot that pain? How do we stop medicating the pain and deal with the pain? We talk about being, um, making sure that you're living your authentic life, talking about how to set boundaries and developing dream boards. So the Bella Body Program is truly an intensive nine-week program that you take self-paced that will help you really eliminate the weight of the world. And the weight of the world, unfortunately, will show up on your body. But again, do I know this program works? It's not what I know. I, I, it's not what I guess. I know it works. Because during those nine weeks, Lady Crystal, I am proud to say that I eliminated over 40 plus pounds. And oh, I wasn't right. trying to diet. I don't diet. I don't believe in diet. Diets mm -hmm. have an end date. I believe in yes. lifestyle changes. And that's what the Bella Body Program did. So when that was writing, doing that program, that's been out since 2012. And so hence where we are now. With the pandemic and everything happening, all I heard were my girlfriend saying, oh, my God, Lanisa, what are we going to do with this pandemic weight? How am I going to get past it? Well, I, we can't go to the gym. I can't do whatever. Hence, over 40 stuck in a fat body. This, I love everything about this book. I love everything about it. Um, it truly deals with women, all the, the three categories that we always talk about. Men, money, and body weight. And, of course, children and friends. But it, yes. it, it really digs in deep and gets that reader to understand how those aspects of life can be keeping weight on them and how they need to go in and first become whole and transform that mindset. And now, do I transform the mindset? No. I lead them to the one the master in the transforming of the mind. Amen. Amen. And so when you Perfect. go through this book, you understand that there's hope. You don't have to be stuck in a body that's not serving you. So, Crystal, yes, that's kind of how the book and Bella Body Program came out, but I just really felt it was a need right now for women, especially with the pandemic and everything, for them to understand you're not Stuck. You're not stuck. The only reason you feel stuck is because you haven't, you don't have enough information. All right, Reverend Red. Back to you, no. Reverend Red. We um, are Lanisha, we're going to give you your opportunity right now to share everything, social media, everything. You accept a shout out to your grandkids, your daughter, whatever shout out to. This is your moment. Go ahead. 
You can have it. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I love that. I love it. No, and you know, it's so funny. Um, I always like to start out with anything. If you're going to give me a platform, I always love to shout out my children. So I'm glad that you said that because that's how I start out. Who is Lanisa? Lanisa is the mother of three beautiful children. I have twin daughters that are amazing, that are 31, and I have a son that's 23 that just graduated from college. And I tell you, those those are my heartbeats. And I, I say that proudly because, again, remember, I didn't celebrate being a mother early on in life. See, I didn't think that was enough. I felt that I needed more to define who I was. But yes, I am glad to be a mother of three, and I have twin. I have um, two um, beautiful granddaughters. One will okay. be four in two days on the seventeenth. Wait, the seventeenth will be tomorrow. I don't even know when the seventeenth is, but we're turning <laughs> seventeen. Um, she'll be four, and then I have a granddaughter that's eight. So that is my lovely family. But what 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 wakes me up every morning? What gets me on fire? is to empower an individual. Right. It's asking and desiring for help. Now, I hope you just heard me say this, empower yep. an individual who's asking for help. See, I used to be this person that want to give it to people, want to help people more than they want to help themselves. And right. that burned me out. That burned me out. Matter of fact, it took me yep. away from my calling. And I said, I don't even want to do this, Lord. But now God has put me in a place that I said, you know what? I'm here for that person who's saying, if you want to walk in your authentic truth and you don't want to use food to medicate anymore, I am that person. Now, how can I help you? There are three ways that you can be helped. One is through that nine-week Bella Body program that I just talked about. Guys, through this Bella Body program, week program, you will get instruction every week. You get a 206 page, let me say that again, a 206 page manual that will go and walk you step by step in eliminating weight and keeping it off. The value of that package alone is valued at 3150, 31. And I tell you, I have caught that class over and over and over again live. And when I tell you, people come out of there just transformed. So I love my Bella Body nine week program. So it retails for thirty one fifty. But would it, of course, do people pay them? Absolutely not. The cost on that is one thousand three hundred and twenty nine dollars thirteen twenty nine. Mm-hmm. Now I used to justify pricing. I don't justify pricing no more. Why don't I justify my pricing? Because my twin daughters own a hair salon. And I watch women every day, Coach Crystal, every day come in and get come on, tell the and truth. So in, and they're spending eight, fifteen hundred to two thousand on a wig. On a wig, ladies. Mm, yeah. But then you tell wow. me you can't invest in your health. So I don't I don't I don't justify my price. That's right. To see people that's, that's pay point. what's that's important to them. And if your that's health right. is not important to you, why am I here to convince it to you? But if that's not important, sometimes people don't want to go through a nine-week program. They just need, you know, a boost. So I have a mini course called Choose Happy. Choose Happy is a mini course to the Bella Body course. And it's a guidance on how to stop sabotaging your weight loss goals. How many people do you know really, really, really overeat and they don't know why they overeat? I'm trying, Lanisa. I don't know what it is, but I don't I don't know why I overeat. I, I don't even know why I'm gaining weight. I keep I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing what they told me. Well, let me tell you, do the choose happy class, you're gonna have nine benefits. The first process we're gonna show you is how to stop using food to medicate your pain. A lot of people use food to medicate their pain. I'm going to show you how to identify to stop eating out of pain and to eat for substance. There's going to be ways, there's going to be a proven three-step process to controlling your secretive eating. 
Do you know most women do secretive eating and we don't even know we do it? Mm. Like Crystal, my one example of that. Yes. You're cleaning up your husband, you've taken off your um cleaning up the dishes off the um the kitchen table. Yes. I on time and clean up the plates for my kids. And they didn't eat a piece of food, guess what Lenny's gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna eat that. I don't throw that away. Right. Right. Guilty. Guilty. Yes, guilty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So this is what choose happy is about. It's going to tell you, and it's going to show you how to stop eating secretive. It's going to talk about the six signs that you suffer if you're se- e- eating secretive. So with okay. the choose happy class, that is a six module class. That is a self tape class as well. The retail um, price on that is eight ninety nine. However, the cost of that is only four eighty nine. It is a wonderful thing. When I tell you, I have so many testimonies of individuals. They say, Lanisa, before I put a piece of food in my mouth, I'm always going through that acronym, Choose Happy. And, girl, you just wouldn't imagine how well I have done. So that are those are the two self-paced programs that I have. But what I am very excited about is that, as we all know, this obesity um it's obesity is truly a problem here in the U.S. Actually, it's a, a problem worldwide. If you look at statistics, 88% of Americans, 88% are in pure health. 57% of my sisters, my African-American sisters are overweight. There's something right. that needs to change. So there is a movement out here. There was a company that reached out to me, and it's a billion-dollar company, and I will announce the name tonight. The name of the company is USANA. USANA, myself, and another company by the name of 4D Traders, we have said enough is enough with obesity. And this billion-dollar company has said they are going to put their money behind educating the black, the brown, the Hispanic, every, all of it, and why we must live healthier lives. So mm-hmm. there is a 90-day challenge that is coming up that will be October the 24th that is based on six pillars. And I love it because it incorporates what I'm doing with my mind shifting plus the additional um, educational platforms that I have not been able to give and the base of most people can't afford me, and I'm just being real. I do my one-on-one coaching. That starts with 5000 and most people. But now you can get me every week coaching mm-hmm. with this program. It's six pillars. It's going to start out with divine health. We're going to talk about your diet, your exercise, your supplements, fasting in the educational program. It's going to be weekly Zoom calls. There's going to be weekly um, meal prepping. It's going to be weekly calls from experts with physicians. This is over 90 days. And what I love is that this is a $2,500 package. But because of the powers that be, when you have money behind you, the cost to participate in this 90-day challenge is only $299. Okay. Wait a second. $299. But here's the shout. I hear you. <laughs> you ready to shout? Come this on. Because come it on. is a movement. What does a movement take? A movement takes people. This is what okay. excites me. A movement takes people. This billion dollar company says, I see the problem. I, I get it. Okay. People don't want to take the time to be educated, and they don't want to pay. So this is what we'll do. If they join the movement, we'll pay them to be a part of it. Yeah. Mm. So it is such a powerful thing. So we've got a live webinar that will be on Sunday night at 7 p.m. If someone is interested in learning more and wanting to be a part of this 90-day challenge that will take place on October the 24th, please make sure, and this is how you can get me, go to my website. My website is 
Living Lenisa, and that's L-I-V-I-N-G, and my name is spelled L-Y-N-E-S-A, dot com. It's livinglenisa.com. On that page, you're going to see all the information that I just talked about, plus you're going to see a contact button down at the door. Message me, Lenisa. I want more information on how I can be a part of the webinar that's going to take place on this Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time. But if you're froggy, and if I were you, go ahead and join. If you know you are a person that has been praying for someone to help walk you step by step, and you know that you can't afford the traditional avenues and really getting somebody to be able to coach you and mentor you and show you how to eliminate weight. And not I'm not talking about a diet, guys. Remember, diets have end dates. I'm talking about a mm-hmm. lifestyle change. If you are one of those people, then go ahead and sign up. There's a link on there that says, I want to join. I want to start the point. And hit that link. Pay your money, and hey, I'm ready to run with you over these next 90 days. But Lady Crystal and Patrick, the reason this excites me is because this makes it affordable for the masses. Now, you did hear me say, again, it's a movement, and it's $2.99. With this movement, basically what they're saying, they want you to go out and share this with five more people, five more people. And every time you share the movement, you make 35% of that membership, of that membership. So, okay. Crystal, do you know somebody that you can go say, hey, do you, would you like to be on a 90-day 90 um, 90-day challenge? Would you love to run with a lady that over the next 90 days she's going to coach you each week and tell you how to eliminate weight in the right way and plus? You have the potential of making $105 if you go and invite somebody. Do you not know somebody that would not want to do that, Lady Crystal? Who wouldn't want to do that? Exactly. I am going to learn as I learn. And I'm going yes. to eliminate ways the right way. So <laughs> that's why I'm excited. Um, it is something they flew me out last week, um, flew us all out, the, the, the key executives, <laughs> first class. They wined Excellent. and dined us, but they told us that they were committed. They are awesome. committed. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Amen. Lenisa, and wow. that's I what mean, it's about. You are definitely awesome. I, I, I mean, we, it's 853. I know we can probably talk to you another hour. You have so much more that you could share, you know, but our time is running short. And but it was a pleasure, and my wife always tell me about you, tell me about that y'all working together and all that. And I was like, so finally, I get to meet you, and I let you, let you know. I don't, I know Crystal is already a fan. Yes. Okay. <laughs> can you can you add me to your fan book, Lenisa? Oh. Crystal, Reverend, 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 <laughs> very humble. Very me, humble. <laughs> Add me to your fan page because I enjoy speaking to. You. I love your testimony of what you did. Yes. Through. You know, and that's a blessing. But um, I want to thank once again Jerry Royce, a fabulous producer, Positive Power 21 Radio, for giving us your platform for for this show. My beautiful and awesome co-host, thank God for her. And uh, most of all, our listening audience. We, I pray, we pray something was said, something was done, something was opened up to you that you can better yourself spiritually and physically. You know, you have all the information, try to get in touch with um, Lenisa, and I pray that y'all do. If y'all need help in that area, you know, I just thank God. I just thank God for tonight. We want to say goodbye now to our listeners. Yes. Audience, to our guest, Lenisa, we love you. We thank God for you. We, we speak blessing and we pray blessing over everything that you do, what you touch, where you step, that there will be a, a, a double-fold blessing in everything that you put your hands on. You know, so thank you so much for honoring us with your presence and your information that you've shared on PowerList. So, Lady Kay, anything else that I forget or anything is everything is covered? Everything is covered. Um, shout out to um, our PR firm, uh, Dr. Shirley Clark and Clark's Consulting. Amen. 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 So, with that being said, we like to say good night and remember, same bad time, same bad channel next Thursday. Be here. 
power left. We will see you then. God bless you. And don't forget, with the same Batman, Jerry Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. How I live, living in faithful truth. John 8 and 32 says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Power to lift you up, power to set you free. We need a power lift, the truth will set you free. Living in faithful truth, receive the work you need. Power of the gospel ministries, preach the word indeed. We're here to help each other, witness the truth and protect each other. So we set aside ourselves so we can reach each other. So let your worship cry, let your praise out. Now let the truth up in you, release that holy shout. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Reverend Red, and with me, I have the beautiful... Lady Crystal! Man, and we are here to give you the best invitation to the best podcast that you'll ever want to hear. Power Lift, Living in Faithful Truth. John 8 and 36 said, you shall hear the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Lady Kate. Tell them about our guests. We have some amazing authors, songwriters, producers, actors, and actresses, and you don't want to miss their testimonies. On Positive Power 21 Radio. Every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. With Jerry Royce, the Batman. So if your day started out kind of sour and you feel that you're losing power, you need to get Power Power Lift. Lift.